Hello, my lovelies. It's me again, Katie. And here I am doing another drawing. This one is more, um, you know, my style. And I kind of want to talk about that today um, as you're watching this. Because I want to talk about how you find your style in art. And, um, you know, it's not an easy process. And for that reason, I'm going to tell you a little story about myself. When I was younger, in fact, when I started doing art, I was incredibly young. And not everyone is as young as me when they start drawing or doing art, which is totally fine. Just saying, it's totally fine. You do you and start when it feels right to you. So when I started drawing, I, gosh, I like, I was drawing ever since I was little. And my mom used to say that my drawings from when I was a small little toddler were so detailed. Um, and it wasn't until I was in grade school, maybe about fifth grade, uh, maybe a little younger that, uh, and I talk about this in my previous video, I, um, I decided that I wanted to start drawing people because they're hard to draw, but, um, satisfying when you draw someone and it looks like them afterward. Um, and so I started to draw people. Well, I still hadn't found my style yet, even though I was drawing things that, felt good to me like I love drawing the Beatles big fan of Paul McCartney here um and I did some progressing forward in my life I I did some works for like high school I did some Beatles um drawings that were fabulous and they were very detail oriented but I just started to discover that detail didn't like it was really hard for me to enjoy doing detail work and like I love detail work in fact what I'm doing here is detail work but I don't like long 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 hours and hours of detail work that's just not my personal vibe then I was also trying to figure out like does this really speak to me about what I'm doing like what am I trying to say or like what am I trying to express and like it was a process trying to figure out what really vibed with me with art and i then i you know i progressed on and i went into college and that was a big long process like over multiple multiple years of going to college and learning about i would say learning about myself and um i you know i did art in college and i still wasn't quite sure but college gave me a niche. It helped me to learn a little bit more about myself. I started to recognize, like I was taking art history and taking other art courses, and I started to see works from other people. And I started to learn about history in the past. And I started to learn about like Japanese art and like other like Asian art and seeing the really fine detailed lines that they do in their art and I was really attracted to that and so um I also still loved drawing people and so I would look at these things and and be like oh man okay I really like I really love these and then eventually like without me even trying those started to influence my art and so I, like, I love drawing women. I started to draw women. And then my, the fine lines started to come in. And then I discovered something called Zentan uh, Zentangle, which is super cool. Um, if you haven't seen what Zentangle is before, go look it up on Google. It, like, is fine, detailed, random work. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's super, super fun. So you can see I did a little bit of Zentangle here. And like all of these key things came together to work towards something that feels like my vibe. Now, it is not easy to find your vibe and to find what truly fits you as an artist. Let me tell you right now, even as you're like watching this video and seeing what I'm doing here, I don't know that this is fully me yet. In fact, this feels great. This feels right to me. But art progresses over time and that's okay it's okay to make changes and it's okay to not 
stay in one realm when it comes to art. And so let me tell you, my art will continue to progress over the years. And I'm okay with that. It, it might look different in like two years from now. Who knows what's going to happen? But ultimately, this is, you know, this is an expression of myself. And so the point is, it's okay to be searching for what you want. And it's okay for that process to take a long time and search around you find artists that you like and like what is it about that piece of art that you really really like and then when you touch on that it's okay to start practicing some of those things in your art i'm not saying plagiarism in art or copy art but i'm saying take pieces of what you love and add it into what you're trying to do and it's okay if it takes time for it to feel right or you to get to the place where you're trying to get to with that style and with that art to make it look good, that all takes time. And art is a process. Like again, even now, as you're watching me draw this, I absolutely know that I'm going to continue to progress and my style is going to change. And um, I also will say that I take inspiration, for example, like I talked about looking at other artists. Well, Pinterest is a great place that I personally go to to take inspiration. I love looking at what other artists are doing. And like, I was just looking at my Pinterest board the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, like look at all the things I've pinned. And there are so many commonalities in a lot of my pins and I'm like okay great um and then I've noticed with the things that I'm, I've started to pin and I've started to really like those things are actually influencing what I'm drawing plus what I'm drawing is influencing what I'm pinning it's go it goes both ways it's so interesting well, I didn't get very far in what I was saying, but all of this to say, it's okay to work through a process, find things around you that are inspiring, keep looking. And as I'm finishing up this video, comment down below, what do you think the story is of this character I'm drawing? I would love to hear your opinions and please subscribe and like this video. Thanks.